Before this video starts, I would like to say, hello YouTube moderator man, and good tidings. Yes, I am putting a strike appeal in the video, and I would like to say, my brother in Christ, it's a shit post channel. You have actual political toys saying psycho shit. I think it's, yeah, it depends on the child really, doesn't it? And calling for terroristic actions on this platform. You have paedophiles on this platform. You have a dead man on this platform, and you have a man who face fucked the decapitated head of a puppy on this platform. I ain't that bad, Habibi. In celebration of Pride Month, I thought I would shed a light on the real America. The side of America no one ever wants to talk about. The deep secrets the government doesn't want you to know. America is deeply, systemically homophobic. I'm just out here trying to suck a dick. And all of a sudden, there's a mob of people trying to kill me? Because 16 is morally wrong! I base all my opinions on legality. The purest, not at all corrupt and retarded system. Nigger. However, I am also deeply homophobic due to my Scottish heritage. Yes, I do beat my wife, who is a man. Anyway, I think that was an intro. I'ma get elected by banning the gay now. I pick the only option in the game, which leads me to my greater point about American politics. It's fucking retarded. The people of India are going crazy that President Obama was constantly chewing gum. And then on top of that, he took it out of his mouth, put it back, you can't do it, it's disgusting. I think the people of India have better things to think about over Obama recycling his gum, 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 I mean gum. Like the Sengoku rants levels of rape. I think they may be more concerned with all the rape, and not concerned in the way you'd want. I'm a rapist. The Wee Yanks are so brain rotted, they have a national holiday to celebrate the ending of slavery. Big issue? It shouldn't be celebrated, but bigger issue? It takes place three months after the actual date, and also 130 years off the mark. Because an American knowing basic history about their own country is rarer than a political commentator not being a paedophile. So armed with the knowledge of law is always correct, and these niggas mad retarded, I will finally start the fucking video. But here, my dear, dear enlightened ones, I hit my first hurdle. This game is fucking awful. The devs are cooks, so I refuse to give anyone actual ratings, and this is as intuitive as a flight of stairs for a mouse made of iron. So I switched to a version before the devs got brain worms. Much better. My first play is to run against a gay, so when it's time for the debate, I can just point at them without saying anything. Wow, controls that aren't retarded. I immediately build a HQ in California and make it a mega HQ, but am rudely interrupted by one of the gays, so I ask him for a small loan. What the fuck is that? 200k. This slight shall not go unpunished. The gays shall pay, and not in the monetary means. I fly back to Cali to enact my great plan, then realise that, that homo wasn't the event and there's a town hall in Wisconsin, which is the only time I have ever said Wisconsin in my life, because it is a fake state. So I return again to the greatest state of all, California. Why is Cali so important? Ronald Reagan is a retard and fucked over the Republican Party forever by signing the Immigration Reform and Control Act of 1986 and people say I don't know my politics. Meaning Cali, a state worth 55 freedom points. 55 freedom points. Would forever be a Democrat state. So if I could just switch Cali, I would win in a landslide. How will I win Cali? While banning the gay? Repeatedly tell them I hate the gay and AOC is gay. After half a year, it hasn't worked out. So I need to pick a running mate who can assist in the abolition of gayery. Now I need someone who already helped in the abolition of something. Preferably a former president. George Washington. I go to some homo's interview and he asks me questions that aren't about the gay. 
So I tell him I agree with whatever he thinks. That reminds me of... A certain smelly individual. Unfortunately, we are now halfway through the campaign period, and I'm down in the very accurate polls. I don't know what the polls have against me, but I'll equip a funny moustache and beat their asses again if I have to. But being up the mentally disabled isn't a good look, so it's time for drastic action. Less drastic. I tell the Californian people that I am in favour of Covid killing the gays. Since I've been a good little goyim, I get to go on Abby Shapiro's brother's show, and he asks me about abortion, which I am obviously in favour of, so we can exterminate the gay babies. He then asks me if I support the impeachment of President Trump. I am of course in favour of it. I then realise I've been going about this the wrong way. It's California. We've already done this. Abortion. Just like the great Margaret Sanger before me, I will advocate for abortion to kill minorities. Just a... different one this time. After 21 weeks of campaigning, it's finally time for the Emperor to take the throne, and for the deity to achieve godhood. The world will finally cower at my mere presence. When I enter a room, a long, crashing wave of anxiety will fall upon those lowly peons who notice the titanic aura I carry. They will see the inadequacy in themselves, desperately try and peek a crack in my golden outer shell and find nothing but a shield of perfection for the chosen being who saved the West, who abolished the gay, who won the election in a complete 58 state landslide. God's greatest creation a being to surpass God himself. Someone who has gone even further beyond. What the fuck? The West has fallen. Millions. Michael, go back. 